why I've sold the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K in 2023. I just want to start this video by saying how good this camera actually is. I've gotten some incredible footage out of this thing and it made me fully fall in love with filmmaking and the process of that. The colors are incredible and you can really stretch them to whatever you desire. I've learned so much using this camera and my skill set has improved unbelievably using this thing. It's been an incredible camera for me and I will miss it, but I won't miss it that much. Pretty much all the work you've seen on this channel over the last 18 months has been using the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. I mean, I'm not going to miss saying that the whole sentence. My God, what a mouthful. Yeah, pretty much everything you've seen, I've been using this camera. So all the color grades, all the music videos, everything, spec ads has all been using this, this the Blackmagic camera. My first point about this camera is that it's way too big. Now, I know you could say that's because of the size of the rig that I've built but each part of that rig really helped the camera be better and be a lot better than just having the camera body and lens itself. And yes, the camera itself is very cheap. The body you can pick up for just under a thousand pounds in the UK, but you have to get everything else with it, which then means the price does jump up quite a bit. For example, you need the rails on the bottom, you need the follow focus, you need the top handle, you need the two side handles, you need the external SSD, you need a monitor on top, and of course, you need a big fat battery that powers the whole thing. That, that, that you can obviously go down the cheaper route, but the cheaper sort of gear you get, the worse it's going to be. And I was super happy with the rig I built. It, it was balanced perfectly. It was so heavy, but it complemented the fact that it didn't have any in-body stabilization. So I feel like if you are going to get this camera, you do you should rig up because it, it, it takes away those those sort of jitters. Like I just said, with, e with getting all those components, that price does then slowly add up and you're looking more towards the two and a half, possibly three grand mark um, with all of the external components. A quite a big positive and negative of the camera is the fact it's just manual focus. Now, like I said previously, one of the main reasons I've actually improved as a filmmaker is because of manual focus. It really made me adapt my filmmaking style and get better at it because I, I've really tried to think of all these different angles that you want to get. You can really play with that focus. I, for me, I love that kind of in and out focus where like even if you kind of move back and forth, like where you just appear out of focus for that split second. I love how that looks and the black magic is so amazing at that. And that's something I will miss with it. But the drawback to that is when you're shooting social content for for artists or you just need autofocus for for youtube videos like this it was a pain it was a real real pain especially again for examples like youtube videos i know the black magic camera isn't something you would usually use for youtube videos anyway but it's the best camera i own so i wanted to use it and obviously manual focus it took so so long to set up and make sure i was in frame and then i'd have to redo it and then all this kind of thing it just added to the stress and took away from the flexibility of actually creating which sucked and as it turned out, I never actually used it for YouTube and I just, I kept using my a7 III. That does lead me to the next point of the battery life is absolutely awful on it. You get about 40 minutes from it, which is horrendous, really. Once you have it all rigged out, you don't notice it because you can literally use it all day with, with a big V mount on the back. And I really did get to the point with the Blackmagic where it was stunting my creativity. It wasn't as free flowing as I, as I wanted it to be. I actually hesitated on creating some things because I was like probably the worst camera to, to self shoot with. It's, a, it's definitely a production level camera where you have a big crew and there's loads of things going on. When you just want to use it for yourself, it's, it's not that great. And it did massively stunt my creativity towards the end of using it. And that's probably the worst thing for a creative to go through is, is hesitating on, 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 on actually fulfilling a creative idea because you don't have the right equipment or you don't have the, the appropriate equipment for what you're doing. I knew I had to make a change. And I, I suppose this leads me to the end of the video to say that I have now sold the Black Magic. This is a video that I was going to make a couple of weeks ago, but with work really picking up, I hadn't really had a time to sit down and, and, and talk about this kind of thing. So, but I have sold it now. I do actually have a new camera in place, which is the magnificent FX3, which I'm currently filming on. I'm so in love with that. I'm going to do a separate video on, on, that, on the FX3. But yeah, I, I'm no longer with the, the Black Magic, as, as everyone knows, it's been my work course for the last 18 months and I have loved using it the entirety of the time it's just I'm in the next step of my filmmaking journey and I needed that step up and the FX3 is something that I've had my eye on for well since I got the black magic really it was always going to be just kind of a stop gap for me where I can get that higher resolution footage and I, I can push the color grade however I want 
um, whilst not spending an absolute fortune on a new camera. But work's been good this year and and as the years come out, I, I feel incredibly grateful to be able to, to buy the FX3. But again, I'll talk about that in a separate video. I'm just waffling right now. So I, I'll conclude this video with if you are looking at getting the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K and you are at the start of your journey, then absolutely do it. I learned so much from it. I, I'm in the position I am now because of that camera. So if it is something you're looking at, please don't be put off with what I've said. Again, you can get past all of it with just rigging out the camera, especially the battery life. You can get better at manual focus, get a monitor on top and you'll be absolutely fine if, you, if you're mainly doing music videos or even podcasts or anything like that. I would 100% get this camera, especially just starting out where you need that next level footage and you want to color grade it how, how the professionals do. So, and making it look film-esque and, and looking like a Hollywood camera. Like I said, every, everything I've shot over the last 18 months has been on that camera. So yeah, um, you, you can definitely get a really nice image out of it. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's, it's a sad video to make selling the black magic, but it's one that I wanted to put out there because it's been such a big part of, of my YouTube journey over the last 18 months as well. Hope you're all enjoying the start of January and I will see you soon.